In this video, I'll show you how to add a quantity box for each product variation in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you two different methods. So I'm going to show you how to add a quantity box similar to this one. And I'm also going to show you how to add a more of a pricing matrix similar to this one. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce website, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the product table plugin by WooSuite. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard and the first step, assuming you've downloaded the product table plugin, is to navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the product table plugin by WooSuite. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here, activate your license key and then we can get started. Okay, so assuming you've done all those steps, then we want to navigate to WooSuite product table. Okay, so I've already got it in a new tab here. Okay, and now the second step would be to create a new product table. So you just click add new table here. So we'll just give this um, product table a name and it's just for internal purposes only. Okay, so I'll just name mine quantity box. Then we'll scroll down to where it says order form information. And then we just want to drag and drop the different information here. So for example, um, in this example here, we can see the product image, the product name, we can see the quantity field and also the add to cart button. So these are different columns. Okay, so I'm just going to add my columns here. So I'm going to add the product image, product name and also the add to cart button and the price of course. So let's rearrange this. Okay, so that's fine. If you want to rename the column, so for example, this one says image. If you wanted to um, rename it, just click on this icon here and then you can change the label. Okay, so I'm just going to leave most things as default. Then we'll scroll down. I'll leave all these as it is. Um, bulk add to cart. So this is important. So here I want to enable our quantities field. And here for the variation settings, I want to go ahead and separate um, the different variation on their own um, row. Okay, so here it says one um, variation per row. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll down to um, order form controls here. And then I'm going to, for the page length, I'm going to set this to hidden. For the search box, I'm going to set this to hidden as well. Product total, I'm going to set this to hidden. Pagination button, um, I'm going to set it to below the table. Um, numbers only, that's fine. And maybe I'll switch this to next actually. Um, reset button. Um, for the form design, I'm going to leave everything as it is. We might come back and disable the table heading. Okay, so let's just save changes now. Okay, now that's saved, we've got one final step. So let's hit this back button here. And now where it says enable variation table, we just want to go ahead and select the table in which we've just created. So we'll click select table here and we named ours um, quantity box. So I'm going to select this one. And then up here, I'm just going to hit save changes. Okay, and now when we refresh this particular page here, so this is the default flow. So usually our customers would have to select and the color attribute, size attribute, and they'll have to do this multiple times. Okay, so now when we refresh our page, we'll have a more user-friendly um, way of them bulk ordering the particular products in which they need. Okay, so for example, if I wanted the V-neck t-shirt in green and the size is small, I can just um, quickly add this to cart and the same with the other options. Okay, so this is the first method. And now if you want to enable um, this price and matrix method, I'll show you exactly how you can do that as well. Okay, so currently I'm using an older version of our product table. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this video and update um, our product table plugin. So we've got this price and matrix option. Okay, so now that we've updated our product table plugin, let's head back over to our settings page and let's go ahead and edit this um, quantity box product table. Okay, so now when we visit this page, we can see this bulk um, variation option here. Okay, so to use this option, I'm just going to actually revert some of the changes that we've done um, earlier on. So on the form information, I'm going to remove the image name price. I'm going to leave the add to cart button. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says bulk add to cart and where it says variation settings. I'm going to select um, a link to product page. And then finally, under the bulk variation option, I'm going to enable this option here. And then for our vertical attribute, I'm going to select um, color. 
and then horizontal i'm going to go ahead and select um, size okay so now let's just hit save changes and then the last and final step is we'll just head back over to the general settings um, page okay so this is already done but depending on if you've skipped to this section of the video you just need to make sure that um, where it says enable variation table that you select um, the product table in which you just edited which is the quantity box here since i've already got this enabled when we refresh this page we should see our pricing matrix so let's just refresh this okay and now we've got our pricing matrix here okay so for the variation which are currently out of stock it will show just like this so the user won't actually be able to order that particular um, variation unless you set it to back order however if we wanted for example a blue t-shirt in small we can just quickly um, add it here if we wanted a green t-shirt in large same for a red t-shirt in medium okay so red and a medium then we can just quickly um, add these to cart okay you can see our items being successfully added to cart here and that's the add a quantity box for your product variation in woocommerce in just a few simple steps if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible